Stephen Fortner here with Pro Tools expert at New Gen Audio at NAB 2017. Uh, I'm here with Paul Tapper. We heard a little bit about the new Halo Upmix plugin uh, up at the Avid booth where they were showing us Atmos tools inside of Pro Tools. Uh, but the man himself now from New Gen is going to give us a more in depth look at this amazing plugin, which will take uh, something that was recorded with fewer channels and up mix it to Atmos 7.1.2 format. Yes. So um, I'm Paul Tapper from New Gen Audio. I'm the technical director. And at NAB 2017, we're showing two products actually uh, one being Halo Up Mix and one being a new product, Halo Down Mix. So, what's new about Halo Up Mix? is that uh, with the announcement from Avid that Pro Tools is going to be receiving a 7.1.2 track natively within Pro Tools. So that's the bed format for Dolby Atmos mixes. We've um, worked with Avid on producing a 7.1.2 version of Halo Art Mix. So if you've got some stereo material and you want to produce uh, your 5.1, 7.1 or 7.1.2 mix from that, then you can use Halo Art Mix to upscale that audio in a really natural and creative way. Um, it runs a couple of different algorithms under the hood. So you've got a lot of control creatively about what kind of an effect you want to produce. If you want to produce a very diffuse, hazy sound, or if you want to have quite a localized, clean audio source kind of effect, you've got all the control you need. Can you give us just a couple of examples of how you would set the parameters for just a couple of different simple use cases? Yeah, so there's a bunch of different presets. Oh, actually, uh, there isn't for the Dolby Atmos. We'll have to add those in. But um, if I went back to the 7.1 version, um, then I can show you the presets for the 7.1 version. So you might uh, be trying to upmix some uh, music where you're going to have a very ambient, full sound filling the room. Um, or you might want to have something which is uh, a bit tighter on um, the voice, so for example, you might end up with um, voice much tighter into the center channels. This is almost a hard center, just a little bit of phantom center coming in, but still got a lot of um, space and width for the sound effects and the music. You can use it on um, single spot effects, use it on separate stems, uh, or you could use it for a full mix. And all the controls are automatable, so you can have scene effects where you have a very wide, full sound. And then um, as the camera moves, I'll wait for some audio to come through. There we go. Very wide, full surround sound. And then as the, the camera moves in through a doorway, you close in and bring a narrower effect. So I love the animation too. I love the, mm. the, the visualization of, of that. It just helps you to uh, see where the sound's coming from, not just the location of the sound, but also which speakers. So that's part of the colorization there. That's why the center channel is orange. So you can see what's coming out of the center channel. Very good. And what's actually just um, phantom center. So it's in the same location physically, but it's coming from a different speaker source. So that's Halo Up Mix, and that's, uh, that's an update um, to go with Pro Tools 7.1.2 tracks. But over here, we have Halo Down Mix. So this is a whole new product for this show, and it's a companion product to go with Halo Up Mix. So whereas Halo Up Mix is, I've got some stereo, I need to produce some great surround. Halo Down Mix is, I've got some surround and I need to produce some great stereo from that surround content. So whether you're uh, an audio post-production engineer who's got a cinema soundtrack and they need to deliver a stereo mix for TV, or you've got a primarily surround workflow and you have to deliver surround and stereo and you don't have the budget to do a completely separate mix, you can use Halo Down Mix to um, control creatively and reconfigure the surround mix to produce a really nice stereo effect, even to the point of being able to underlay if there's been delays, uh, delays added to the surround and the rears to right, give that, right. that sense of space. That's going to cause nasty phasing and comb effects. When You're listening through headphones, for example. Yeah. 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 So you can use this to detect that, um, that timing difference and to underlay it to correct it. So Halo Up Mix and Halo Down Mix are both available from our website. Halo Up Mix with 7.1.2 tracks will be released when Pro Tools is available with the 7.1.2 tracks. But the 5.1 and 7.1 version is already av available from our website. And Halo Down Mix is also available now from our website. 
Pricing? Um, so Halo Art Mix is 499 and for the extension for the vertical plane is an extra 199, is that right? Yeah. And Halo Down Mix is going to be 299 US dollars, but because it's a new product, it's on an intro deal for 199. And just behind you, I'm noticing um, all of the logos for different plug-in formats. Sure. Um, are Upmix and Downmix Pro Tools HD only or available for other things as well? That's available in Adobe Premiere, um, Avid Media Composer, um, Final Cut, Logic, uh, Nuendo. Oh, BST audio units? Yes, uh, yes. Everything. Yeah. Okay, well, that's fantastic. Um, Paul Tapper, thanks very much for uh, showing us new gens, new surround tools. Halo up mix and down mix. Thank you very much. Okay, safe travels. Thank you.